welcome you to the first annual Northwestern NCAA Tournament Selection Show. school and to me though this isn't the end game to me today is the beginning of Northwestern basketball Each of these guys here, I looked them in their eyes, and all I asked them was to believe. All I asked them was to believe. You know, trust me, believe in me, believe in this. And that's why this group of guys sitting right here, they deserve this day more than anybody in the whole world. I love this team. Today, Today is the day we, we put ourselves on the national map, and that's where we plan to stay. So let's go dance in Salt Lake City. Go Cats! Uh, I mean, it, it really sunk in with me when I saw our name up on the screen. Um, you know, I got pretty emotional. Uh, you know, I came here to be a part of that first team in Northwestern history, to make it to the tournament. and. You know, a lot of us, have, you know, came here to just be a part of part of something different and you know, change things, how change how this program is. But to see our name up there was was awesome for so many people, and you know, just to be able to say that you know I was a captain of this team was something that I'll never forget in my life. Uh, this is a, a great moment, and you guys are enjoying every second of it, aren't you? Of course, and we could only do this once. <laughs> uh, you only get to be the first one time, so we are going to make the absolute most of it and enjoy it and really take in the moment and then tomorrow after celebrating all of today tomorrow we'll start getting ready to go play while the celebration continues in the arena video coordinator tad glibert is already hard at work downloading and cutting game footage of vanderbilt well the managers are gonna help me download games uh, try to cut as many of them as possible. In SEC, you know, a lot of those teams don't play like us, so I might even have to look back at some non-conference games. We'll start working on that together tonight, put together a scouting report, a uh, video edit for our guys, so the next couple days of practice, we can start preparing for them as best as we can. The most important thing, get them CC'd as quick as possible so we can put them on coach's computer so they can watch. With an unfamiliar opponent and a short turnaround, the coaches waste no time breaking down film and beginning their game prep. It's gonna be a long night. Gotta prepare. Update myself on, on, on this current team, Vandy. This is locked in. It's locked in right now. Gotta get our guys prepared. With the game plan now in place, the Wildcats recall a recent visit from a proud Northwestern alum whose message serves as inspiration for a team bound for Salt Lake City. This group of young men is the one that everyone will always refer back to as the ones who did it. You guys did it. So I just want to say on behalf of every alum of this university and everyone who loves and cares about this school, 
thank you guys for what you have done. You have represented us with great pride. You have brought us together in ways that I did not know were possible. And I believe that the best is yet to come. Packed and bundled in snowy Evanston, 8th seeded Northwestern prepares to depart for Salt Lake City to compete in the opening round of the NCAA Tournament. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Salt Lake City International Airport. Well, congratulations again, it's probably your first time to uh, make to the tournament and uh, we're proud of you. Good luck in the tournament, we'll see you all another time. Thanks for joining us. Waiting for them at the 9th seeded Vanderbilt Commodores, who played the toughest schedule in the nation. Chris Collins takes the time to reiterate what the team has been studying since being announced just three days prior. Today we're going to work on their specials. Okay, They have a handful of specials they run to get cornet shots, to get guys in the post, some different things that we want to be able to lock in on. They want to drive for threes. They want to drive for threes. Spotting up. So any type of flare situation that the center is involved in, number three, is a switch. Okay? Alright, we're just gonna walk through a few things before we stretch. Okay, here we go. Let's have a good workout. But being here, uh, it's not enough for you? No, for sure. Not no, not at all. Because we feel that you know we can we can beat some of the teams that we have on our in our schedule. We have confidence in ourselves, you know, coach has confidence in us, so, so we're not coming here just to play. And we're not just doing this for ourselves and you know for our team, we're doing this for everyone that all the you know people like Jim Stack, Billy McKinney, uh, Drew Crawford, John Sherno, so many guys like that, and that were you know part of the foundation of this program, and you know we just want to finish everything off right. A lot of my teammates, guys from different areas, we got together last night, and it's a big moment for all of us, and I know a bigger moment for you, but just thank you, really thank you. And the best of luck, continue luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And the most wonderful thing about this experience, it united the Wildcat Nation. And together we will always move forward. Go Cats! For the first time in their history, the Northwestern Wildcats are playing in the NCAA tournament, and they play as the higher seed in this first round game. I've told you guys all year long, I know we're excited, I know we're ready. We've all wanted to be here for a long time. When you've thought about this day and playing, did you think about yourself being quiet, scared, and nervous no. when you dream about playing in this game? No, you dream about being enthusiastic, sharing with your teammates, playing with confidence, and playing together. And that's all we have to do today. If we do that, it'll be enough. All right? Yeah. All right let's go. If you're not excited for this, then you should give back your scholarship because this is what you play for. First ball going into part. Needs it back out, saved by Lindsay in the lane. The McIntosh for three. Good! Brian McIntosh hits the game's first three pointer for the Wildcats, and they lead seven to five. Brown handles the ball, and Skelly had to carry him off, and Brown got it back to the baseline, lays it up, good! Isaiah Brown, and one! Did he get an assist, Skelly, off his shoulder? Against Cressler, back touch, moving left to Lindsey, straight on three, got it! Scotty Lindsey with a couple of three-pointers here to put the Cats back up by four. If the Wildcats were nervous about their first NCAA tournament, it didn't show on the floor. Northwestern came out confident and poised and paced by double-digit scoring from Scotty Lindsay and Bryant McIntosh took a seven-point lead into the locker room at halftime. We gotta be strong, we gotta make the open guys, and then we gotta make them pay for that. Overall, though, we've held them 27 points. In the second half, it was McIntosh who took control of the game. It's McIntosh driving, crosses over, gets all the way in, banks it in! 
The runner by McIntosh. And the Wildcats have their largest lead. Timeout, Vanderbilt. Mid post left to Law against Lachance. Feeds it baseline, back door, Skelly lays it in and one. Law had a great pass. I'm giving an assist to Coach Collins. He's running in Law to the post, and they're not big enough to guard him down there. So they had the mismatch, and he took advantage of it. As quickly as the Wildcats built a 15-point lead, Vanderbilt would make it disappear. Four baskets in just over two minutes cut the Northwestern advantage right back down to three. Bryce Drew gets it back from Cornette. Starts to his right. Lost the ball. Lindsey has it. Numbers for the Cats, three against two on the break. Lindsey pull up floater, back rim up and in. Just like that, the Wildcats go up 7, 53-46. Bouncing for part, hands to Lindsey. Scotty, right down the lane, put it up off the window, no good. Rebound part, muscles it back up and in. Young man battling, isn't he? Down the stretch, the game would come down to free throws. Derek Part, a 50% shooter, made six consecutive with the game on the line. And when McIntosh was fouled with 15 seconds left, the junior made both his shots, give Northwestern the lead for good. Gets it into Fisher, Davis, throws it up three quarters court, good if it goes, off the glass, no good. And in their first ever NCAA tournament game, the Northwestern Wildcats are moving on in the big dance. What a special moment for our program, for our guys in the locker room that have worked so hard. And the toughness we displayed today is what we're all about in our program. This tournament is about one thing, living to play another game. Yes, sir. It doesn't matter, like we can analyze all we want, what we did well, what we did poor, all those things. The bottom line is we're playing Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. We got about 48 hours to get ready to play Gonzaga. Right. So, yeah. And I don't know about you guys, I want to keep playing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go, bring it together. Like Great job, good. ready? Toughness on three, one, two, three. Toughness. With the Wildcats moving on to the field of 32, they face the top-seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs. You know, obviously, we gotta move forward. So it was a great win. Everybody did a great job. You don't win unless everybody does their part. But in this tournament, you gotta move on. When we wake up tomorrow, it's gotta be about Gonzaga. So we can beat this team, but we gotta play well and, every, and we need everybody. We live to see another day, so you come tomorrow and, and you get ready to, to fight. fans here and we just saw a number one seed go down in Villanova. Now the pressure turns to the top seed in the West, Gonzaga. But Lumpkin gets the rebound to McIntosh for the corner. Northwestern grabbed the early lead, finding most of its success with points in the paint. The shots from the outside failed to connect. Gonzaga took advantage. Matthews ahead of the pack for three. It's good. Six minutes to go, first half. So Lindsay sees an opening and lays it in. That's a rare path to the basket. Ball for three. Finally, Northwestern has its first three-point attempt after they were 0 for 10. Listen, there's a lot of game to play. Let's go, Joe. It's a long game. We played scared to start. Stop playing scared. Just play. They're a good team, we're a good team. Everybody just play. We got plenty of time. You're making it too big. It's basketball. Regroup, talk the game. There's plenty of time to get back in this game. So full 20 minutes, it's our ball. But not if we play scared. Not if we play scared. We, we gotta come out fighting, because that's who we are. in and throws it down with a right hand. 44-29, timeout Gonzaga. 16-01 to go. Law, corner three, it's good. Natasha over to Law 
for three, and he drains another. To Taphorn, he'll try a three. Got it. Nathan Taphorn, the lead is down to 11. The pressure's not there yet. Taphorn, another deep three. Zaga led by as many as 22. McIntosh for three. Oh, good! Wall is there! And we got a ball game! 63-58! Timeout! Good Zaga! Trying to get a shot up on from behind by Lindsay. With just under five minutes remaining, the opportunity to cut the Gonzaga lead to one possession, the momentum turned on a non-call. McIntosh to the hoop, hands off for Pardon, who's blocked. Collins got a hand on it. Oh, he's gonna get And Chris Collins oh. gets teed up. Collins may have a point. Look oh. at Collins' hands. That is absolutely, he is 1,000% correct. Wow. Cutting the lead to five points would be as close as Northwestern would get as Gonzaga pulled away in the final minutes. What a run for Northwestern. First ever NCAA tournament appearance. You know, like I, I believe what I said when we got to the tournament. This is just the beginning of what this program's gonna be. And you guys fought like crazy today. I got. I always tell you guys that if you guys put your hearts on the line and you battle and you lay it out there, I'll live with any result. And what you did in the second half was you put your hearts on the floor, you played with emotion, you played with energy, you played with toughness, and we damn near pulled it off. We damn near pulled it off. I'm really proud of all you guys, and I've loved coaching this team. But I can't thank the seniors enough for what you've done for our program. Tap inside. So You guys were there from day one, and you believed, and you learned, and then you became leaders. And I'm really proud of you two guys. For the other guys, let's use it, man. Let's use it. I think we see, I think we see what we can be. But we're going to get better from it, and we're going to work hard, and we're going to try to put ourselves in a position to get back here again next year. Okay? Let's get together. Every season is a journey in a lifetime. And this group will never, this is the last time that we will huddle like this, as this group as we know it. And I just want you guys to know it's been as fun a year as I've ever had in basketball. Thank and, you, Coach. And I love you guys. Thank you, Coach. And I'm really proud of everything you've done. All right? Toughness on three. One, two, three. Toughness. Toughness. Time has finally run out on Northwestern's historic season. As the team returns to campus, they do so as one of the most accomplished in school history. With a record-setting 24 victories and a coveted trip to the NCAA tournament, these Wildcats are forever bonded, accomplishing what no team before them was able to. The Northwestern Wildcats are moving on in the big dance. Chris Collins and his team are determined to return to this stage next season. Today they can look back, able to take in the moment, and aware of the significance of their season and what it means for a program ready to take the next step. Unbelievable!